right now Matt is walking the dogs. I'm starting to see the leaves change, guys. I think it's happening. Hey friends, good morning. We're on our way to work and we're gonna pull over here because we're driving in separate vehicles from Matt this morning. And um, he's aware that I'm gonna be making a stop because I passed by this um, donation thrift place every day on the way to work. And I wanna pop in today just to see what we find. Of course, I've had one cup of coffee. We're on to our second on the way to work. So we're just gonna ease into the morning. I mean, what is my life? It is 10 after 10 this morning. And uh, yeah, we're all ready, ready to go thrifting. So let's see what we find. We're going down into the dark, creepy basement. All right, enter if you dare. So this is only for the brave of heart, you know, the true junkers that will go into the basement to see what's going on down there. So there's a few people kicking around here this morning. This um, Salvation Army is set up so that you literally go down into the basement. They actually have some furniture pieces down here, which I noticed are really great priced. I didn't grab any big furniture today because it's just me, I'm in the car, but I've now made a mental note and I think that because of the layout, I betcha a lot of the furniture pieces just lay down there because nobody wants to carry them out or figure a way how to get them out of the basement. So like there was a hutch down here across from what you're looking at right now. This was a cool piece. It was plastic. It was only like $5. It was awesome. I've painted tons of these little um, like French provincial style tables as well great flips but there was a buffet right across from this aisle and it was $14.99 a two-piece hutch like the buffet in the bottom with the china cabinet on the top by the way I love this tray now the first thing in here I pick up is this tray for $3.99 there's no carts down here we're in the basement and then of course now that I've touched it and I've picked it up, I can't just leave it there. Uh, so now I have to carry it with me and it's bigger than my basket. So I'm sorry you look like you're at the front of a boat here, but this is my tray. And my worry is if I put it down now that I've had it up and people have seen me holding it, then I may have piqued their curiosity as well. And I need that silver platter. So, hence the silver platter is going to be with us on the rest of this trip. So I did pick up that little pottery bowl. You know, I'm a sucker for some good pottery. I love it. You know, and what is good? It's all subject. It's art. Like this piece right here. That's pottery. I love that piece. Look, you can see the marking on the bottom. This was somebody's candle project. You better believe it. I am taking that home. I don't need to do anything with it. It's perfect as is. And I know somebody else will appreciate it. So... Can you appreciate it from just looking at it? I love it. This is a, you know, obviously ceramic pottery cookware. It's cute, but I like artistic pottery. So I'm going to move on. This is the wooden section, which is always good for finding stuff that we can put a little paint onto. This caught my attention. I recognize that province. I am from the province of Newfoundland and Labrador in Canada. And I can actually see where I'm from, La see on this little wooden handmade piece. So somebody here in the U.S. in Pennsylvania obviously traveled to Newfoundland or was gifted that piece. By the way, I miss those shoes. I think those are like, you know, cool wooden shoes. I could paint those. By the way, I grabbed these real quick because, you know, I can do a little dry brushing on top of that metallic base. Bada boom, bada bing, she's gonna look gorgeous and we can flip that easily. But yeah, I thought it was really cool that I found something in a thrift store in the United States that's from my home in Canada. Anyway, that made me smile this morning. 99 cents is just the base, could be for anything, but it was like a platter ceramic. I thought, cool, you know, maybe a, a base for a candle. So I grabbed that. This star, at first it was like, which side do I put this on? It's $2, but yeah, 
you know what, a hanging star, put some paint, some metallic on that. I think that would be a cute little magical flip. So we're gonna paint that obviously and make it gorgeous, make it gorgeous. So into my cart you go. Are you seeing anything else here that you find interesting? You know, this section here, you've got a lot of the, just the clears and the whites and it's not really appealing to the eyeballs, but I do like to give a little look over it and sometimes I miss stuff. Sometimes I think, you know how, like that candle holder, I should have took that candle holder on the corner and I missed it, gosh darn it. All right, it'll give me something to go back for. Sometimes I think when they, you know, I love the look of the sections with all the colors, but I feel sometimes that I miss stuff because it all looks like one big bunch of the same color. And then my eye can't pick things out. Whereas if you had things kind of like, you know, I don't know, I'm eclectic. I like things spread out. So I'm not the person that's going to organize my books into color groupings. Are you that person? Tell me. By the way, there was two of these little uh, wicker baskets down here, but they were really paper thin. I debated getting them, you know, put a little gold on those, but they were so thin. I worried if they would even make it home or out of my store or if they would break in between. I thought this might be a paperweight, but it looks like a single candle holder. But yeah, do you like question of the day? Do you like the groupings and the colors? Does it grab your attention? Is it harder to pick from? Uh, what's your thoughts on that? Anyway, table right here. Love it. 29 solid wood. If you're looking for a table, ideal, perfect. You should definitely go get that. By the way, I saw this wooden magazine rack here. It was only $7 and change. I don't need it. I just got a magazine rack. And I'm gonna tell you, these are hard to, I mean, I guess that one is solid wood. It's beautiful as is. You could just sell it as is. But if you were to paint it, it would be, it's hard to paint, sticking your paintbrush down in there. It's a lot of work. Anyway, it had the heart onto it. It probably was maybe a wedding gift at some point um, to somebody. It's beautiful. And I'm sure somebody will come along and just grab it all up. We bringing any vacuum cleaners on home. I already got a vacuum cleaner. We're good here. The books. Nope. This piece here was $9.99. That's actually a really good deal on this table. Again, that French provincial style. You know how we saw that oval shaped table? This could totally go with this and be a pair. Well, the tray made a nice little carrying tray because I didn't have a bag or a box. Okay, well, that was successful. My coffee waiting for me for when I get back. It's nice and cool. Life is good. All right, we're going to continue on to the shop. I have got a thrift store to put together, so all these finds. If you saw a bunch of videos back, what I'm doing is creating a thrift department, a thrifting area a hall of curiosity of just everything from antiques, collectibles, just cute, whimsical, um, just fun stuff, that curious things, just, you know, a collection of everything and pulling it together. So over the last few videos, you've seen me really get into thrifting. And now today I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna start um, putting out my painted pieces and just pulling all these finds together and creating a little display area. So that is my plan today. I'm gonna get back, I'm going to gather everything up and put it out for sale. So if you wanna see how that goes, tune in to the next video.